in this video, I am going to share with you six ways that you can make your pitches more engaging and more entertaining so that your clients are prepared to spend more dollars with you. The first way that you can make your pitches more entertaining and more engaging is to keep them audience focused. This means that you've got to make sure that your message and that your offer is tailored for the room that you're talking to. You can't have a generic canned pitch that you talk and you take to every audience. For example, if you have two target markets, let's say one is accountants, one is lawyers, fairly similar groups of people, similar types of challenges that they face in terms of their business offering. But if you're presenting to them, you have the opportunity. If you know that you're talking to a group of accountants, make sure that your message is accountant focused. So talk about, find stories and client testimonials, client messages that are accountant based and accountant focused. Conversely, if you're talking to lawyers, make sure that your examples, your messaging is all, and your language is all tailored around the legal profession, the, the specific individual challenges that they face. You might reach both markets, but you will be better and get them more engaged into your pitch if you talk about their particular specific challenges, their particular specific clients and testimonials that you can tailor to suit their market. So make sure that your message is as audience focused as it can be. The second way that you can make sure your pitch is as engaging as it possible is to keep it visually engaging. If you're going to use PowerPoint, make sure that it is picture based, not text heavy slides that you see so often. Keep the text as light as possible. Keep the focus on you. You are the, the visual representation. So you make sure that you're visually as sharp as you can be. You're dressed appropriately for the room. Make sure your PowerPoint slides are as text light as they can be. Make sure that whatever visually you present, it is appropriate for the room. If you're sharing a video, share a video. Make sure it can be heard. Make sure that whatever visual engagement strategies you use during your presentation, they're appropriate for the room. They can be heard and seen by everyone in the room. And most importantly, they're not going to distract the room from you and your message. The next way to keep your pitch engaging is to leverage stories. Have a look at the stories that you have that your clients, your previous clients have provided you. You there have a wealth of information that provides you not only great client references, but you've also got stories of examples of how your products and services have helped different clients in different situations. You can draw on each of those to basically illustrate and sell your products and services and say, well, look, client A, who is exactly like the room that you're talking to, they had exactly the same problem. They used your product and service and look at the wonderful new world that they are enjoying now because they have used your product and service. Leverage that to your advantage. Don't just say that your product and service will achieve A and B. If you can provide tangible examples and talk through the pains that other people have felt in the new world, same as any other story that you've read as a, a child or you read to your children, make sure that you have stories that illustrate your points. And I'm sure you do use them rather than just plain fact and logic. A key to having an effective and engaging pitch today in the current world is to make sure that you're providing valuable and useful content. Don't withhold your best information. Be prepared to share it. Clients want to know that you know your stuff. They're not going to invest in you purely based upon just a little bit of reputation, a little bit of knowing who you are. Unless you are a mega celebrity, you need to demonstrate your expertise and one of the most effective ways is for you to cover this information during your pitch. Now, if you're concerned that audiences and that clients are going to just take the information and do it themselves, they're not going to. The majority of your audiences will look at what you have to say and go, yes, that is valuable, useful information. Yes, I could do it myself, but I want the result quicker. Therefore, I will engage Mark. I will engage whoever to come and help me implement the strategies that he's spoken about. So it proves that you know that your, your material, you know what you're doing, they will then engage you to then come and help them get it, the results faster. 
So don't be afraid of sharing valuable and useful content that people can actually implement. The more you do, the more they will come back to you and say, I want your help to get the results quicker than if I could do it myself. A crucial way for you to make your pitches more engaging is to build a connection with those that have come to your presentation. So there are two ways that you do this. Firstly, before you actually launch into your presentation itself, take the time to meet and greet people as they arrive. So if you're in a, at a networking event or you're at an in-person event and you're delivering the, the, the pitch, go and shake hands, go and meet people as they arrive. Don't hide away in the corner. Don't slink away over your laptop, sort of tinkering with the PowerPoint. No, get out, you're much more, you'll get much more benefit by getting out, shaking hands and meeting and talking to as many people as possible. The more you talk to, the more you will build a connection with prior to you actually starting. Now, if you are delivering a webinar, the same principle applies. Use the webinar tool to welcome people as they arrive and just chat freely with them before you actually start the, the, the live part of the webinar. So use the tools available to build a connection before the, the main presentation starts. Once it does start, there are a couple of tools that you can use. Firstly, you want to have a good background story, a good your story, so that you can build as many relatable items, as many points and traits that your audience can sit there and look to and listen to and go, yes, I see similarities. I, I am or I was in a similar boat. The more you, that happens, the more you will build a relationship with those that have taken the time to attend your presentation. You also want to have a look at your language. Make sure that it's audience and you focused and incorporate plenty of client and testimonials and stories so that, again, it's about building that me too's so that your audience sits there and as they go through and listen to your presentation, as they watch you, they understand where you've been, where your clients have been and how you've helped them and they can see the similarities. The more that this happens, the more that they will then go, oh, that's me, That's I'm in exactly that situation. That builds that connection, that relationship, so they can then take the logic and take the emotion and go, yes, I need to engage the person in front of me, you, to go on to solve their particular problem and pay you good money to do it. So build a connection at all times through your sales pitch to make them more engaging and effective. The final and most important way to keep your pitch engaging is to show enthusiasm, smile, enjoy the process of delivering the information, whether it's in person or on a webinar. You can make sure that your pitch is as engaging and interesting as possible to keep your audience engaged. If you're not enthused, your audience is not going to be enthused. So make sure that you take the time to deliver your presentation with as much energy and as much enthusiasm as possible to help sell yourself, sell your message, and sell your products and services. If you want more information about how you can deliver engaging and effective sales presentations, if you want to know how you can deliver those, whether it's in person or online via webinars, come and check out the Dynamic Speaking Library at the Public Speaking Skills Academy. There we have a range of courses that are available to members, a private Facebook members only group where you can get online coaching and get the opportunity to learn and develop your skills in a safe environment with other members. Check out the Dynamic Speaking Library today.